Hey guys, Jafar here. The small monuments in Rust are some of the first locations you will find yourself at and be wanting to loot. These monuments can offer utilities and resources to players early in the game or even later in the game, making them an all around great set of monuments to explore. We begin with the abandoned supermarket. The supermarket offers a central building surrounded by abandoned trucks and sedans. The trucks and surrounding debris can have a chance of spawning loot, so it's always good to check around out the front of the shop to make sure you're getting the best possible loot. Once inside the supermarket, you will find rows of supplies which are mostly items you cannot interact with. However, you will find food boxes within these shelves which can supply you with food and water. You might also discover at the back of the store, there is a vending machine, but this is not an interactable machine and is only used for prop purposes. The best loot, however, can be found within the two back rooms of the store. If you are the first person in a while to loot the store, you will see a barrier blocking one of the doors. You can smack these barriers down and open the door. Once inside these back rooms, you can find basic crates, a green puzzle keycard and military crates which can contain guns, resources and useful tools. If you go to the back of the supermarket, you can also find a recycler surrounded by a chain fence. A ladder is also placed at the back of the supermarket to reach the roof, which can also provide additional crates. Nearby the supermarket is small power stations which can hold multiple useful barrels to loot, but these stations contain a low amount of radiation requiring you to wear basic burlap clothing to enter. The gas station building is like the supermarket but can be distinguished by the gas pumps out front and the large Oxum sign on top. The gas station's central interior can be looted to find additional food crates and host a door leading to the bathroom in replacement to the supermarket's vending machine. Like the supermarket, the main utilities and loot can be found within the back rooms. The door to the left will lead you to a room which has a chance to spawn a basic or military crate with also an additional ladder hole to reach the roof. The door on the right will lead you to the office room which can be used to find a green keycard and military crates. The extra door within the office room will lead you into the garage. The garage provides a recycler and a small cave hole which can hold multiple crates. Make sure to bring a torch with you as it can quickly get dark within the small cave. If you continue up the original ladder to the roof, you can find additional crates and food boxes hiding behind some walls and across the bridge on the top of the gas pumps. Nearby the gas station, like the supermarket, is more small power stations which can hold multiple useful barrels to loot but still contain a low amount of radiation, requiring you to wear basic burlap clothing to enter. Also the gas station will be surrounded by cars and debris which can have the chance of spawning crates and barrels. The lighthouse might be one of the first or easiest to find small monument due to its location of the beach making it great for fresh spawns to quickly loot. The lighthouse has a main entrance and a back door to the tower at the bottom. Once again, the main entrance can be barricaded off if you're the first one to loot it in a while, so you have to bash it down. Once inside, the lighthouse has multiple paths which can lead you into rooms containing a crate, a keycard and barrels. You can choose to either climb the tower using a spiral staircase or by completing the basic parkour jumps. By jumping up, you'll find yourself in the balcony with the single recycler the lighthouse contains. You can then enter through its window to continue climbing up the spiral staircase. The staircase can lead you to some additional crates and eventually the top of the lighthouse after taking a side course around the broken part of the stairs. Once at the top, it can be used as a great vantage point to scout your surroundings for enemy players. Additionally, the top can also spawn a crate for you to loot. The lighthouse does not contain any radiation within its buildings or rooms, making it perfect for a fresh spawn. The warehouse is a small and easy to loot monument, making it great for worried players to quickly loot and get out. With the warehouse being open, it allows you to easily see if there's any available crates to loot or enemies to avoid. And if you're trying to look for the warehouse within the map, it's called the Mining Outpost and it's located near the other small monuments. The warehouse contains a side room which can hold a crate or a hiding player waiting to strike. Outside the room is additional shelving which can hold basic medical and military crates along with more boxes against the walls. 
You will also find a recycler and a repair bench within the center of the warehouse, making it a very useful building for players to use. Outside the warehouse, barrels and additional crates can spawn with a small power station nearby providing a wealth of barrels. But remember, these small power stations will contain a low amount of radiation, so clothing will be needed. The player can also use the tires on the side of the building to get up on the roof to look down within the warehouse to further scout it out. The abandoned cabins can be mistaken for a similar swamp-like area, but will contain two cabins unlike the other swamp. Within the two-story cabin, you can find two crate spawns and a desk up top which can spawn a green puzzle keycard. Within the second cabin, located opposite of the two-story cabin, some additional crates can spawn. This monument is not as useful or wealthy as some of the other small monuments due to it not containing any recycler, repair bench, and a lack of chests. However, additional ore rocks do spawn within the center of the swamp, allowing for quick resource gathering. The abandoned cabins do not contain any radiation within the main cabins, making it great for fresh spawns to loot. Additional small power stations can be loaded surrounding the site, so protection will be needed for those. Power stations are yet another small and low loot small monument with no additional machines like the recycler or the repair bench. The power station, unlike other small monuments, contains a low level of radiation across the whole site. No fresh spawn can enter close to the small monument without a full set of burlap clothing. Once inside, multiple barrels along with a crate can be found. As a fresh spawn, this site will not be for you and your time will be better spent on other small monuments. Water pumps can be found hiding inside the woods biome and does not offer any useful crates or even barrels. What the site does provide, however, is a water pump allowing anyone to quickly refill their water bar in exchange for some food levels. There are two different types of water pump sites with one containing multiple large silos while the other being a small wooden tower. The side building of the wooden tower also offers a staircase in which you can use to get to the second story and scout around. No radiation is present on site, making it great for any level player to use, as it can be helpful in saving you in many situations in which your water levels become low. Be careful though, since each time you pump some more water, your food levels will decrease, so only get what you need. That's it for the small monuments and rust, and in future videos I will go through larger and more dangerous monuments and how to utilize those puzzle keycards which you can find within these smaller monuments. Almost every one of these small monuments can be found within your map by holding G and finding the name of the small monument. The ones that do not appear include the water pumps and the power stations. And remember, these small monuments are going to be hot spots for players to be in, so watch out when you're starting in rust and be careful. Enter these sites with caution and always bring a spare weapon with you. Thanks guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.